Hello everybody, my name is Northern Lion and I'm uh, mad because I'm bad. We're due for an Isaac run today. Lost a disheartening blue baby mom's knife run uh, recently. And that's not good. I mean, we were not given that run on a silver platter. We had mom's knife and very, very little else. Especially in the HP department, especially considering that um, I was playing as Blue Baby. I did lose a lot of health that I probably should not have lost. I'll admit that it was not my best play. That being said, um, let's get back on the horse, you know. I, we haven't been knocking off a street late, late, streak lately. Apparently, I also have not been knock, knocking off a streak of, you know, being able to say English sentences correctly. But that's okay, too. We'll, we'll make it work regardless. You know what? I'm always tempted to use a... Uh, a bomb here to, to deal with Duke of Flies on the first floor a little bit more adequately, and I think that's exactly what the F I'm gonna do. And that has maybe not paid dividends, but it's gonna save me some freaking time, and that is uh, well. I've been watching all these, uh, you know, seven character speed runs. People beat the game with all seven characters continuously in an average of like 21 minutes per run. That shit is insane, yo! I'm not even close to that, but maybe if I start placing bombs here, I'll be able to, you know, get an average of, uh, you know, 45 minutes per run or something like that. Meat on the first floor is pretty nice, too. We're going to, uh, go to our item room, and then we're gonna leave this floor. But even if the item room is shitty, we have a reroll, and even if the reroll is shitty, um, we got meat on this floor. So I feel like, you know, relatively adequate for my modest tastes. Almost got hit there. Let's, let's start, you know, getting renewed focus on good fundamentals as well. Don't be an idiot. Okay, money equals power is one of those items... The ups, the downside to it is nothing. There's no downside to this item except that maybe you find yourself a little bit more, you know, spend thrift when it comes to actually, um, you know, giving money to shops and judgments and stuff like that. Uh, but even if you give a bunch of money to them, any money that you have is just extra damage. So, um, assuming we can get, you know, maybe the map or something like that, or we can just get uh, a quarter or any way that we can get money, basically, makes us much, much stronger. And money equals power is one of those items that... It, it never seems to show up when you need it, so let's hope that this is a, a little bit of a, uh, a, a different case, because uh, if we can get some money here, I would be very thrilled to actually be able to use this as a crux of my run. It happens so rarely, but it's such a good item when, uh, when it actually works out for you. So there's red heart damage. Let's kiss our chance of getting a deal with the devil on this floor goodbye, which does have, you know, long-reaching repercussions. We found our second secret room. I'm not going to give it any money, just because... Seems kind of shitty right now. Um, and there's another telepills. And what's this one? Thank God that's not a bad trip. Are we gonna telepills again? I think we are. And that took us over here. I could trade one bomb for three cents. It's a deal that I'm um, I'm on the fence about. I think it's okay, but I would much rather just find the secret room. And you know, one of the very nice things about going into that curse room, especially since we'd already basically taken red heart damage and probably cost ourselves a deal with the devil anyway, is we now know that that uh, area over there did not have the secret room in it. Like, it, it's not adjacent to that curse room. We know that, because we would have seen a, a door that led to it. And I don't believe that I did. So, as a result, we should instead um, maybe look in this position directly above us, although this does appear to be a pretty large floor here. Another nickel is wonderful. We are at now, um, I guess, like, one-third, roughly, of a damage upgrade. But it, it does work, uh, you know, on a granular level. So, 9 times 0 0.04 is 0 0.36, so yeah, we're at, like, just a little bit over a third of a damage upgrade, I would say. So, I do believe the secret room will probably be here. If it's not, my bad, but... Alright, that was an educated guess that worked out. We pick up another 9 cents, and that's gonna take us to, uh, you know, 18 times 0 0.04. What's 18 times 4? Well, that's gonna be 72, you big dongle, so that's gonna be 0 0.72 damage ups, which is pretty solid. You know, we're not quite in mark territory yet. Uh, but, you know, the Pact is only 0.4, so we're already over the Pact damage, but, you know, one of the best things about the Pact is that it also gives you a huge increase in your, uh, tiers. 0.7 increase in your tiers, if I remember correctly. So, uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this money equals power so far. We don't have any keys, that's obviously a sore spot, but, you know, it's, it's kind of nice knowing that even if you don't get any keys, it's still relatively easy to get a damage upgrade or so on a, on a floor. Uh, as a result of just having money equals power and being able to, you know, scrimp and save for a little bit of cash. Now, hopefully we will get, like, bombs or keys from this boss. Like, I would actually love if we picked up the, uh, the crate, the cardboard box. Doesn't always work out the way you want it to. Pageant Boy would also be, you know, basically a damage upgrade. Obviously, there's plenty of HP tiers and damage upgrades I would like as well. This is, a, obviously, a pretty shitty item in my taste, uh, so we'll reroll it, get squeezy instead. Is there anything else we could really do on this floor? 
Not really with no bombs and keys, so I guess we will just leave. And I'll caffeinate a little bit. Ooh, that is probably too hot, but I can't resist. Oh, yeah, yeah it's far too hot. Don't do that. I'm gonna burn your tongue, you big dangus. Now, just keep moving and shaking here. Mostly moving. The shaking is um, what you do after you pee, so you don't get the you know urine drops all over your trousers. It's an important step. You might think I'm just being vulgar. I'm not. It's it's an important step. Everybody's got to do it. Otherwise, I mean, if you wear jeans all the time, you can probably get away with it. But try doing that shit in khakis. You're going to look like an eight-year-old kid. Now, do I use the bomb to get this chest? And do I use the key on the item? Ooh, that's pretty good. Um, so cancer is obviously a great trinket here. That's wonderful for us. Now we do basically have the pact. We got the two spirit arts from Squeezy. We got the extra damage as a result of um, money equals power. And now we have the extra tears as a result of cancer, which we'll probably have to get rid of eventually. But oh well. Uh, it's an interesting situation because we could go to the shop as well. But I almost value the item room more for many reasons. One of which is that we're already here. The other one is that it won't actually cost us damage to buy something. Mind you, you know, the items that you can get in the shop are probably a bit more valuable on average than the items that you can get in the item room. But, you know, let's let's pick our strategy and roll with it. So I will use my key to come down here. Um, it's the tarot cards, which is good but bad. Good because it gives us a card and then we re-roll it, but bad because, you know, it's it's bad. All right, you know what? Because I took Mom's Knife on the last run, I'm not going to take it on this run. I will give you that, but I want to. And I I haven't really earned it on this run so far, but think about how amazing our damage would be with money equals power. Uh, I'm trying to find the secret room, but it's, it's always very difficult with, like, a curse of, uh, you know, darkness going on, so... I am just uh, going to play it cool for now. We will get more rerolls. I really thought that I was out of the way there. I hate these rooms where basically, like, if you don't have the ability to fly, it's like, well, pretty good chance you're going to take damage unless you react nearly instantly when you walk into the room. But that's that's Isaac for you uh, sometimes. So we're going to get cancer and then walk out. And this is our shop, which we can't visit anyway, so that's okay. And once we actually are, I mean, the sh weirdly enough, the shops kind of become more valuable once we know that greed can actually show up in them. Because we can get a shop item and still have the um, the possibility of getting, like, a uh, money drop from him or his the, the enemies that he summons as well. It's interesting. Could the secret room be down? It might actually be, but I'll, I'll check on that. So we'll reroll Mom's Knife. It becomes Polyphemus. I'm going to take Polyphemus. Obviously, this floor was destined to have a good item in there for me, but... Uh, could it be down? We have the item room adjacent to it, and maybe not. Maybe it can't be down there. I mean, it could be, but it's unlikely. Let's put it that way. Where else could the secret room be? Well, I'm going to imagine that it's on this other side. Obviously, I don't want to accidentally leave this floor with the umbilical cord. That would be terrible. Thank God we got cancer in conjunction with Polyphemus. That makes um, life much easier here. High damage and uh, a decent rate of fire. I don't think we've taken red heart damage on this floor. <laughs> oh my god, seriously? Don't start now! Uh, we'll look for the secret room in just a second, but for now I'm a little confused. Alright, little Chad. Dog shit item. In most cases. But we're lucky enough to have a reroll. If we get a deal with the devil or angel, then I might use my reroll there instead, but... Uh, we could always just leave little Chad and not feel too bad about it. I think, at least. Good hits so far. Playing it cool. Living it up, not giving a fuck. Limp biscuit dot, you know, MP4, etc., etc. Keep it going here. One more hit might be enough to do it. Really? Oh, they snuck! They snuck in on me. This is the greatest attack of all time. I'm, I'm displeased. Well, we can reroll little chat, but it doesn't do anything, right? Well, fuck me, I guess. I guess we're not gonna pick it up. Could the secret room be here? God, I'm. An idiot sometimes. Um, I actually have no idea where the secret room could be, so I might just leave this floor, but I will try one bomb down here. Let's see. Okay, that's not it. I think it might have been in the location that I thought it was in in the first place. And we're on Curse of Darkness again. Wonderful. Um, just makes my life a little bit harder, which is fine because we have, you know, Polyphemus, Cancer, um, and money equals power with a decent amount of cash right now, but it is frustrating. Not gonna lie. Would be nice to go into that bomb trap, boss trap room. Bomb trap room is a totally different thing that sounds horrifying. Now, just stay like perpendicular to these guys. It should make it easier to hit them. 
uh, without getting hit ourselves, of course. It's an important part of the whole arrangement here. This guy seems pretty set in his ways. And we get a tarot card. Judgment! Okay, interesting. Judgment is obviously a card I'd love to take into the deal with the devil. If it's a demon judgment, though, we might get better mileage out of actually um, using it to get into that boss trap room. I mean, I guess we could maybe do both. It's kind of hard to plan for, though. Um, and judgment's, you know, interesting as well. Basically, the only time I would want to use judgment is on a deal with the devil room to snag a free deal with the devil item or, you know, get multiple reroll pedestals because otherwise, it doesn't really seem like it's worth it to me because of the uh, damage we'd have to give up to make it work. So I know that we have a reroll already, but I think I'm going to save it for the, the boss and possibly devil room here, but we'll check out our item room just to see if I want it. It's not horrible, but it's probably an item I'm not necessarily thrilled about, so let's um, head on into the boss fight first. It's going to be a champion version of Peep. I theoretically should be able to get out of this without taking red hard damage, um, but it's, it's probably close to like a 50-50 whether or not I'll actually get hit once here. So just be cool. What's the what's the special feature of this champion version? I guess it summons both eyes to start with. It's gonna be a very tedious fight here. And uh, there we go. Got some good damage in there. Nearly got hit. Dodged a little bit too far. Um, got a little too big for my britches there, you could say. Got 90% of the way through this fight. Just gotta be okay here. Just dodge, gonna be okay. Uh, you're seriously not gonna give me uh, a deal with the devil after that pretty marvelous uh, fight there, I guess not. I think we'll reroll Mini Mush then. It's poison bombs. I'm gonna take him. It's not a great item, but I would love to be able to find the secret room and get that money, and to gamble for that on this floor is gonna require a lot of bombs, so, so be it. I didn't even sip any coffee there, I just made the sound, but no coffee made it into my mouth, that's okay. I mean, I, w I wasn't just doing the sound like like, like that, there was a cup involved, but just the, the coffee, it was a little bit too uh, viscous, I guess, to make it work. Um, now, we're pretty good here, the HP's good. I left that spirit heart back there, by the way, just in case I had to hurt myself to get into that mob trap room. Or boss trap room, I guess I should say. I feel like I'm playing a little sloppy, but that's okay. It is okay. We'll, we'll still swing this. Don't worry about it. How do I want to use this Judgment card, then? Very good question. Uh, do we want to go to the shop? The answer to that question is a big fat maybe. We have an Emperor card as well. That doesn't do too much for us here, but... I would love to be able to take this down to the next floor, but because we didn't get a deal with the Devil, I uh, don't consider it super likely that we'll be able to use this Judgment card as effectively as I'd like here. That's the first money we've gotten in quite some time. Do we use our key to go to the shop? I think we do, and then we can decide whether we um, whether we like what we see and are, are willing to lose damage for it, or whether it's greed, and then we just take our money and run, or maybe take the steam sale and run, or maybe re-roll it, uh, especially now that we have an extra key. All right, so it is greed, so this makes my uh, decision-making process fairly easy. The only difficulty is going to be in determining whether or not we actually uh, want to pick up the steam sale if he drops it or not, and he didn't, so. This is a very easy decision for us to make, and now we're back up to 30 cents, or not back up, we're just up to 30 cents, which is uh, lovely. So 30 cents times 0 0.04, we're at like 1.2 damage, plus Polyphemus, it's a nice position to be in. Now, if I were a secret room, where would I be? That is a good question. Could you be down? That was a bad choice. That was a bad choice, I apologize for that. It's a small floor here. I uh, let's open this. Eternal heart. Nice. Uh, let's not take that red heart yet, though. We got a key back, too, which is, is nice, but, um, is there a room up here? No, there's a room down, though, so the secret room could be here. It is. Okay, thank God we're done with that charade. We only got three cents out of it, but it's better than nothing. And do we want to hurt ourselves to go into this, uh extra room. I think the answer to that question is yes. And maybe we want to use Judgment while we're there? I don't know if that would actually do anything for us. Um, you know what? I know there's probably spikes or something, but I'm just going to use bombs to do this. We only need to use two. That's fine. Luckily, we don't take poison damage, so um, do that. The only, the only problem would be if it's Demon Judgment, of course, but we could still maybe make it... Ah, let's save Judgment for a possible deal with the Devil. I think it's reasonably likely that it could happen still. Maybe I'm naive. 
And you know what? If we're going to take Judgment down to the next floor, which it sounds like we're basically committed to, we might as well just Emperor card out of this uh, boss trap room fight after we go in. We have no other need for rerolls because we took the poison bombs. Might come back to bite me in the ass, but we did find the secret room. Super Bandage. It does give us one extra HP, plus the Spirit Hearts, of course. So we'll just Emperor card out of here now. Um, and we'll get our extra HP and leave. Truth be told, I think the end part of this floor was handled pretty well. Early part, a little spotty, but that's okay. So, um, 33 cents puts us at, uh, you know, 1.32 damage or something like that. Plus Polyphemus. Tears upgrades from Cancer and Squeezy. We're gonna lose that Cancer upgrade soon in all likelihood, though. Judgment card. Tons of HP. That's a pretty good floor, I'd say. Alright, Depths Part 1. Obviously, you know, kind of an inevitable sore spot of this run. No map, no compass. Hopefully that's also no problem, but we'll see. More keys is good. And this is really probably our last Hail Mary chance at using this Judgment card effectively. We're still not one-shotting anything. Once we start one-shotting uh, relatively big enemies like that, I'm going to feel a lot less bad about giving up this Cancer Trinket. Uh, because we won't need a high rate of fire. That was really bad. Uh, we won't need a high rate of fire anymore. We'll just need to hit enemies once and that'll be that. So, it's an interesting one here. I don't even want to buy the key, to be honest with you. The ladder is something I'll think about, but we're going to reroll it. Now it becomes the 9 volt. Um, is the battery that worthwhile in this situation? That's a darn good question. There's a judgment down there. That could end up spiraling out of control. I don't know yet. I, I still prefer to get items for free in this case because it costs us some of our, you know, very needed damage to, to make it work. Normally I would still be pretty aggressive about this, but because we've missed a, a few secret rooms due to our, uh, you know, Curse of Darkness bullshit, uh, it's a little bit more of a tricky play for me. Let's use a bomb here to see if we can find the secret room. If so, this will give us an, a convenient opportunity to play Judgment if we want to, but no. Um, there could also be a secret room right here. Might as well check. Alright. Now I'm starting to be thankful that I took so many bombs because it seems like we're going to need them. Two-shotting those enemies feels pretty nice. And the real question is, what happens if I um, get a reroll back before I find another room? And obviously that's what's going to happen. Before I find another room worthy of a reroll, I should say. And obviously that looks like it's going to happen. Do we reroll 8-ball or... Um, or not 8-ball, 9-volt. Um, that's totally different. Um, I don't know, to be honest with you. No, you killed your friend. Don't you feel like an asshole? I think we honestly reroll 9-volt just uh, because if it's the compass or map, they're really like the biggest items for me right now. Nun's Habit I'd probably also pay for, but uh, Bum Friend, definitely not. Not buying that key either because, you know, it costs us damage. We can find keys in the ground and we have a decent number. Uh, it's a weird situation to be in to basically want to fight greed. Alright, so if I'm correct, we don't play the Blood Bank until we leave. That way, you know, we'll get as much money as is humanly possible. But, uh, we also won't take Red Heart damage, which will lower our chances at getting, uh, a deal with the Devil. Which is extremely important for this whole Judgment situation that we've got going on here. Also very important that we bring a reroll into the boss fight for that exact reason as well. Alright, so this is, uh, it's gonna work out perfectly with respect to rerolls. Ah, we can half-shot these guys. That feels nice. So two of them die if we hit them uh, in line with one another. We're going to be fighting Gish. So this is a pretty much a perfect situation. Guaranteed decent item from uh, the boss. Gish might be a little bit above decent even. And uh, on top of that, that means 100% guaranteed to be able to bring a reroll into the boss. It's also a very easy boss, um, even though I just took some dumb-ass damage. So if I actually manage to get out of here without taking red hard damage, I should be... You know, in the best position I can maybe guarantee myself of. So, we'll finish this off pretty soon. Might have been better off using, like, one poison bomb. Maybe that would have made it easier to not get hit by that little gish. But, shit happens. Run's still going very well in spite of itself. Okay, we gotta deal with the angel. This is a little bit of a moment of truth here. Our deal with the angel item is the relic, which is wonderful. We also throw down judgment, and here's where we start spending money. Knowing that we are gonna be able to get it back, um on the blood bank in all likelihood. Maybe more, maybe some HP and speed along with it too. So there's no way I'm rerolling the relic even though I would love to get Sacred Heart. The relic is just too good. This is why I didn't take a little chat earlier just in case the relic showed up and it did. How can I feel bad about it? We also get the prayer card. Um, okay, 
let me explain what's going on here. The prayer card, it gives you a uh, an internal heart, right? You might say, hey, that's one free HP. But then I wouldn't be able to play the blood bank. The blood bank, you might be saying, only has the chance to give you one HP anyway. But that's not the point. The point is that we can get the one HP. That's like secondary now to the amount of damage that we can get as a result of playing the blood bank. So I will take the eternal heart, but I will in all likelihood end up using it. We got the miter as well though. Um, and uh, the D6 is way better than the prayer card. And we got the miter along with it, so now we have a ton of spirit heart drops. But um, the, the only reason I even played the prayer card and you know decided to take the eternal heart is maybe we'll find the second secret room or just a random eternal heart and that'll give us one HP. It's not worth just abandoning it. But um, in all likelihood, this Eternal Heart will not be joining us to the next floor. But I, it's a nice gesture, and the fact that we got the, the Miter as well, um, in addition to it, is, is lovely. Thank you very much, game. So, uh, we'll check out our item room quickly. It is a Spoonbender, which is fine. It's not a, you know, game winner, but might help us uh, make some shots that we would otherwise miss. Number one priority now is the Secret Room. Second priority would be second secret room, but there's, as always, or as is often the case, just a, like a few too many possible locations for me to feel comfortable using a fuck ton of bombs to make it work. Let's see, though. Um, oh, wow, that's a lot of money in our secret room, so that's nice. Is it worth using the bombs to maybe snag one more HP? I don't know. I, I think I'm just going to go for the blood bank right away. Um... And we won't get a reroll that we can use on bum friends, so that sucks. That sorry, um, eternal heart. There was there was some stuff I could have done to make your life easier, and I didn't do it, and to maybe give you a chance of survival, but I didn't do it. Sorry about that. Uh, so we do get IV bag. IV bag's not the ideal payout for us, but um, you know, it showing up is not the end of the world because we can still abuse it for some extra damage by this, uh, and that'll take us up to like 70 cents or so, if I'm correct. Yeah, 67. So our damage now is, um, uh, now the math gets a little tricky. Six times point three, sorry, point zero three is 1.8. So we're at like 2.01 extra damage right now, if I'm correct. That's all I'm gonna call it anyway. Forget bum friend, uh, will we go to the curse room? I thought about it, but now it's looking a little scary, so I'm thinking maybe not. And, uh, it sucks that we can't take that extra HP down, but Miter plus Relic in the future is very nice. Now if we can just get a Guppy's Paw, our health situation is probably sorted. I say we just leave at this point. A little scary HP-wise, don't get me wrong. That's okay, though. Alright. Depths Part 2, not Necropolis. Alright, fuck. The money is... is wonderful. Thank God our rate of fire is high enough that I could actually shoot those spiders down before they got to me. That was looking a little frightening. And, you know, nice to have Spoonbender as well when it actually works out in our favor. It rarely works out uh, to our deficit, so um, it's better to have it than to not have it, I would suppose. Imagine how much damage we'd be doing with Mom's Knife. The things I'm going to do for my country. Anyway, we uh, we have an arcade here. I love arcades. We're going to gamble the shit out of that blood bank again if we can. Uh, did that judgment, saving that judgment card end up working out well for us? I would say that hell yes, it absolutely did. Being able to get the miter and the relic... I mean, here's the thing, if little Chad makes the relic or the miter worse, does the relic make the miter worse? Or, or vice versa? Fucking beats me, but um, maybe it doesn't make it worse, maybe it just doesn't make it much better. I mean, there's, there's granular possibilities here, obviously. Um, this room is scary. If you can fly, it's, it's the easiest room of all time. If you can't... As you can see, we find ourselves in a bit of a, a tricky position here where I've lost one whole spirit heart already. Now, we could have a mini boss. Ah, that spirit heart dropping actually saves me a lot of hassle. So now I feel totally okay about fighting a mini boss if there is one. There's not. So, um, do we want the coin purse? I don't think so. We can afford to uh, reroll until we get something that we want. And at this point, what do we want? It's not too much. It's, uh, it's the compass, pretty much, primarily. Maybe a mini boss in here. No such luck. I actually want to fight uh, Greed, as you might imagine, for the, the free money, or the, the quarter, or maybe the steam sale. I know that we can get that chest as well, but for now I'm just going to move on. Maybe we'll think about that later. I don't think there's any way for us to sneak that spirit heart out here, unfortunately. Not without using a bomb, uh, which I'm not totally comfortable with. Yeah, well, we don't need to, because we got one for free. This should start happening with more regularity. And I'm feeling very confident about this run. 
HP wise on red hearts and spirit hearts were golden. Damage is great. Uh, shears is god awful. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but you know what we can do with the shears? We can be real fucking creative. And we can come back here and maybe snag a penny and a spirit heart. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I was gonna think, or I was gonna say that I could also get that chest. But we can get that chest for one bomb, and the payout is probably less. Whereas, you know, we'd have to use two bombs or have the ability to fly to get this item. And what do we reroll? Do we reroll the shears or do we reroll, um, whatever the item was in the shop that I don't remember? It was like notched axe, maybe? Um, we reroll the shears because we don't have to spend money on it. That's my philosophy. I forgot I couldn't fly, so I took a spirit out of damage's penance there. Um, yeah. We'll, we'll reroll the shears because it doesn't cost us, you know, 45% of a damage upgrade to do it. Extra bombs by a remote detonator. That's just a, it's a reroll tax that I've collected upon, I guess. We've been to pretty much every room that one would expect to have value here. So, hopefully, um, we manage to just get some good consumables. I would love to get some more red hearts so we can actually gamble on that blood bank a little bit. Can't always get what you want. If you try sometimes, you just might find you get what you need. It's my favorite uh, Stone Temple Pilot song. Yeah, they wrote it. What's the what's your problem? We're going to use a... probably should have placed this bomb differently, but... We're gonna check out this golden chest, and we got more than our money's worth there, for sure. More than our key's worth, I guess I should say. Normally, uh, don't have to, you know, specify exactly what's going on with that idiom, but that's okay. 71 cents is very good. We're almost, uh, tapped out, obviously, on our, uh, money situation for money equals power. That's totally fine. You, it's gotta happen at some point, right? That's what you want. When you have money equals power, you want to get to 99 cents. Now... We can play the Blood Bank a couple of times, and we have Spirit Hearts to back ourselves up for the Mom's Heart boss fight. No question about it, basically. And we are, um... Ah, that was a very clever game. We're not quite one-shotting the, the big-ish guys yet. Hopefully soon, though. And uh, this is pretty much a carbon copy of the room that we had a little bit earlier. I will totally use a bomb and a key to open that golden chest, just because of the potentiality of being uh, amazing. Thought maybe we'd find the second secret room there. We got a spirit heart for a bomb and a key, which is not a great trade, but it's done, so that's okay. And we did find our secret room as well. Secret room contains greed. Ah, how lovely, actually, to be able to hopefully snag either a, a free shop item. Yes, we'll reroll this. I love you, game, but I. Mom's knife and fetus in a jar on the same run. It's uh, it's tempting. You're trying to get me killed, though. So we're, we might end up re-rolling so much that we just take, like, no items on this run. I really thought that that would give me a free shop item, though, but I guess because it was on the secret room, it re-rolls into the secret room pool, which, to be honest, is probably a little bit worse than the shop pool for what I want right now, but we're not going to get more re-rolls anyway, so... Fuck me, I guess. And, uh, it's a, the classic case of the man who wanted too much and ended up, uh, getting nothing as a result. But that's okay, because we're already in a very good position here. So, I realized that we could have played the Blood Bank, you know, twice as well, and maybe gotten something out of that. I decided against it, just because it'll be nice to have a little bit more HP going down to the next area. You know, we, we went for the Blood Bank on the last floor. It paid out nicely with respect to money, with respect to, uh, the Blood Bag. It didn't. So be it. You know, you gotta, you gotta play the cards you're dealt. Even though many things in this run have not gone perfectly, the run itself is in a very, very good position. Especially considering, you know, I, I should feel, you know, a little bit more scared considering I passed up mom's knife and fetus in a jar, but it's just not going to matter, is it? In all likelihood. And I didn't get hit there, which is very surprising to me. We'll take our red heart. We'll get rid of cancer to take the Polaroid, which is a little bit of a sore spot for me. And we have to take the coin purse. We don't have to take the pills, but I'm glad we did. Balls of steel, telepills. Bad trip, that's fine. And range up. And we'll telepills out. And in doing so, we can get teleport. That seems worthless. And I know what I said mere moments ago, but I'm gonna go play this Blood Bank, just in case. And you know, a little extra money's not gonna hurt now that we're uh, a little bit lower on damage. And we do have a fortune teller as well. We don't really want it because we don't need it, but without Bloody Penny, I mean, we could get Bloody Penny, Bloody Penny from the fortune teller, but without Bloody Penny, we don't really wanna go through with this. This'll give us a few extra plays. Hey, it totally worked, and we got more money. I wonder if we can just put this down and then maybe get a Mr. Mega out of this bomb. Uh, so we got two, three bombs out of that. And we'll blow this guy up for more money, too. Ah, we got a key and a bomb. Well, that paid out quite nicely for us. Uh, let's leave now. All right, you know what? Let's get the treasure chest as long as I won't get hurt in the process. I wish there was a way to, like, 
pick up Fetus in a Jar and just use it as unlimited bombs and then put it back down and go back to regular tiers. Sadly, there's not. That was another really good chest, actually. So we're at 83 cents. We got an extra HP upgrade, some more speed. Uh, we basically potted one extra Spirit Heart as a result of um, that coin purse, but the Telepills also allowed us to uh, get those other advantages for us, which is quite nice. No map, no compass. Ooh, really? I'm very displeased that we don't have a reroll, but that was still weird that that ended up giving us a deal. I, I guess that's normal. It can end up giving us a deal with the angel the same way you can get a deal with the devil um, by teleporting out. I was just not in a position to really make good use of it, but how awesome would it be if that had Sacred Heart? I would not have passed up Sacred Heart in that situation. As noble as I am, Sacred Heart is the guilt-free game-breaking item. Game-winning item, I guess, because game-breaking means something kind of different in Isaac. Now, uh, we're not, uh, you know, one-shotting these bosses. And these are bosses, mini bosses at least. Um, so it's not like this is the strongest we've ever been on a run, but it's a very good position to be in. I don't want to lose two spirit hearts going into that curse room, even though, you know, it's tempting. You could end up picking up some very useful items there. Indecision almost cost me some health there, but we'll be fine. And what do I want at this point? I'm greedy, man. More damage upgrades would be wonderful. I doubt that'll happen. And you know, we're already at plus 2.5 damage just from uh, money equals power alone. But as you can see, uh, you know, my brain is calibrated to be doing more damage than I actually am. So uh, I, I can't play chicken with these guys. I would like to play chicken with these guys. We're not even one-shotting Guts. Guts is a fairly tanky enemy, but I would like to be one-shotting Guts if, if possible. We're going to ignore that because the spikes will uh, definitely get me hurt. And I, I don't need to be one-shotting Monstro. Monstro's tanky as well, but I would like to, you know, have it take less time than it actually is. Homing Tear is actually kind of uh, hurting me a little bit here. Because I want to be aiming at a particular Monstro, and they're making that a little difficult. It's a Monstro with a very particular set of skills. Do we have anything here? Well, we're one-shotting these dickheads, so that feels good. What a ninth grade insult. Flat Penny. Um, well, I mean, I like Flat Penny. I really do. I like Flat Penny, how about you? But I, I can't really, you know, justify picking it up. For many reasons. The big one being that the Polaroid is, uh, you know, not for many reasons. For one reason. The Polaroid is uh, non-optional uh, non at this point. It's mandatory. So, keep moving along here. Wound Part 1, no map plus compass. We've gone so far, though, that it really feels like there's got to be at least something at the end of this area. Even if it's not the boss fight. But it is the boss fight. So we'll get a free Spirit Heart here. If I had to guess, probably two. It's been a while since Relic or Miter paid out. Could even get three. No, just two. That's fine, though. And we have a reroll and a possible deal with the Angel or Devil. Okay, Skull X. Put a Poison Bomb down. That did a darn good job. Half dead already. I took some dumb damage, but he's dead. We got a deal with the Devil and a range upgrade. Deal with the Devil has uh, the Cat. Well, the Guppy's Head, I should say, to be specific. And, um... The nail, both of which I don't really like. So we'll reroll both of them. And I'll take the pact instead. I think the pact is pretty solid. And I think we'll just take the range upgrade and go. As tempting as it would be to earn another reroll. So wound part two, I consider, you know, wound part one went pretty darn well. So the pact, I have finally learned, I believe the pact is 0 0.4 damage plus 0 0.7 tiers. So this will help compensate a little bit for the uh the tier, uh, or the rate of fire, I should say, to be more specific. The, the rate of fire that we lost from um, losing the Cancer Trinket, and uh, the extra damage will, you know, synergize quite nicely with that. We got Polyphemus, so our rate of fire is low to begin with, so to, to buff it up a little bit is, is wonderful. And now, our tiers become that much more potent. They were already pretty darn good, but now we're uh, one-shotting turrets. That feels good. Spirit Heart's dropping like crazy, and we can really get our money's worth. You know, I think I will play... The blood bank until I get up to 99 cents. I, I don't really care about going to the boss trap room. If we somehow could, that might be a nice, like, additional benefit. But really, I figure we might as well just get up to 99 cents. We're going to be rolling almost entirely on spirit hearts anyway. Um, we might even get the payout here. Yeah, there you go. So, you know, we're not going to be able to get that 99 cents that I talked about. But that's okay. We got an extra HP upgrade instead. Okay, fuck me. And fuck you too. Uh, this is a dead end here, unfortunately. Now, we're uh, probably doing like one twelfth of Chubb's total HP per hit. One, maybe maybe one eighth instead, but 
That's okay. Uh, and we are a little bit more potent with respect to our finances now as well. Normally I don't do that, but we have so many spirit hearts that I figured playing the blood bank, uh, probably gonna do more good than harm. Which is rare, uh, for this point of the game, but it's okay. Please, just more money at this I mean, actually, you know what? The keys are probably more valuable than money right now. Just because, uh, you know, we're gonna need them for golden chests if they actually show up. And, oh, come on. And we actually did manage to hit one. We got hit ourselves in the process, but at least making this room take a little bit less fucking time. Okay, thank God. And we got .03 damage as a result. All right, rats should be super easy. Uh, yeah, I kind of got myself caught between a wrath and a hard place there. Or a rock and a hard wrath. There's many ways to make that work. That was awful damage on my part. I'm not pleased with myself. You shouldn't be pleased with me either. I wouldn't ask that. It's unreasonable. Now, will it matter? That's another uh, completely different question. There's one spirit heart back, and the magician, I'm just gonna pop it because it's effectively worthless because we already have um, homing tears. Someone comes out of the woodwork to tell me that, you know, homing is actually like a mathematical stat, and if you get two of them stacked, then it makes it home better. Well, by all means, uh, you know, you, you may be right. That doesn't make you a good person, though. You might be a good person as well, but... Okay, how are we gonna... This should be easier than you would think. Or th than it looks. What am I even talking about at this point? Okay. Bomb's hard. Easy fight. Very easy fight at this point. Poison bombs come down. Best thing we can do for crowd control at this point. And uh, then we hit him with the old uh, polyphemus shots, which are gonna do an awful lot of fucking damage at this point. Watch out. And uh, there you go. Drop another one in there. I want to save some poison bombs for Isaac and Blue Baby, if possible. But for now, uh, ah, we actually managed to save quite a few. 11 bombs, still pretty good. Spirit hearts? Yeah, we did get one. That looked like a miter payout. Alright, so Cathedral is where things start to get a little bit trickier. That's okay, though. I love when this guy spawns spiders. I hate when he brings his big-ass foot of justice down to try to be a vigilante. The only vigilante I support is Vigilante 8, Daddy Longlegs. So if you could just fuck right off, that would be awesome. Now, you should be deceased, and you are. Uh, friends till the end is actually not the worst pill. Um, it's pro At this point, with the amount of damage that we're doing, it's the worst pill that I'll save. <laughs> that I'll save until the boss fight. We're we are now at 99 cents. Good place to be. Best place to be. More spirit hearts, also good. Not really concerned about that uh, mob trap room. Now we can finally spend money! Everyone is, uh, everyone that ever sold anything is already dead. I don't think it's worth potentially walking over that unless it's balls of steel, and it might be, but I've forgotten, so it's okay. Alright, Monstro 2. Annoying, but we haven't picked up any shot speed upgrades, I think, so we actually have, like, basically no knockback. Which is a very nice position to be in, because Monstro 2 is one of those bosses where knockback can really fuck with you. Wow, this is a very easy trip to the boss room. Uh, I imagine I'll get hit by feet at some point. Basically, unavoidable. Um, these feet are avoidable, but the ones that come down kind of randomly like beams of light from heaven are a little bit trickier. Hey, we made it through just fine. Alright, so this is, um, you know, zero orbitals. This is where things get a little touch and go. But our damage is good. And uh, we can use some poison bombs. But for now, I'm actually just very pleased with the way that uh, our, our tears are handling the fight. We're about to enter the second phase. We did get hit once, that's okay. I don't know why I walked into him after I got hit thinking like, oh, that'll help out. Make sure we sneak some bombs in there. I mean, it's not going to make our dodging any easier because the poison damage over time is going to cause some, uh, you know, extra shots to come out of Isaac. But it will speed up the fight on an absolute level, so let's sneak another one in there. We are on the third phase and our damage is holding up very, very nicely, actually. Um, I thought maybe I would come in here and find that I was basically just like, you know, doing a little pinprick, if you will, but instead, it's going very well so far. Um, sneak in a couple more shots. We only got hit three times, and there's a spirit heart waiting for us. So, I would say that turned out very well. And I think we're pretty much destined for a win, despite all the things that we passed up. So, um... It's an interesting one. We could take Lard and PhD, and then that would give us the HP and the HP to fill the containers. But I actually think I'll probably just take Guardian Angel and reroll everything else. We could use some better items. Okay, so Guardian Angel plus Halo of Flies is lovely. Mr. Mega helps our bombs become better. Range upgrade is, you know, as usual, fairly dubious, but whatever. 
Uh, so we went from no orbitals to a, a full suite of orbitals with Guardian Angel as well, so feels pretty good. Still can't fly, so we gotta watch out for... I mean, that creep's not dangerous, but it's good to just keep an eye on things, so now we will watch out for creep in the future. We basically have no chance to lose this run, if I had to guess, but... Um, you know, the more high damage items we can get, the better. Basically, at this point, we're just generating so many spirit hearts that, like... It, it would take an unprecedented, an unprecedentedly like difficult run of runes, or just like a run of exceptionally poor form to really uh, cause me to be at any kind of risk at all. Because we're in the chest and we're still gaining more HP than we lose. Um, that's a very good position to be in. So we got uh, useless pills. That's fine. Um, empty rooms means yeah, we're finding the boss room much quicker, and let's just finish this bad boy off then. So considering we have a. Uh, Poison Mega Bombs, I figure we'll just, you know, drop some of these in here to start the fight, and the longer I can go without taking damage, the, the more, essentially, free damage we have. Sneak some more in there. And we might be able to win this entire fight just using bombs, which would really minimize the amount of damage that we take. And it's kind of a fun way to handle this boss fight, because I previously had never really done that. Got ourselves in a decent rhythm now. Uh, we're not gonna quite have enough bombs to do this, I think. Pretty close, then a couple of shots will just finish the job. Very easy final boss fight there, so I appreciate the Mr. Mega drop. We took a little bit of damage, but, you know, all things considered, we could probably do that chest like another five times. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.